So Pika.ai completely redesigned their old website and they added amazing new features such as sound effect in all kind of videos as well as lip sync. So today in this video, we're gonna go ahead and explore the new redesigned website of Pika.art, explore all its amazing features. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so here we go. We are in uh, the new website of Pika.art and you guys can clearly see uh, from here that it says new Pika feature, which is sound effects. You can seamlessly add sound to your videos without any problem, right? So take a look at these examples. We have a video of a bacon frying along uh, with the sizzle of the bacon in that, which looks really, really good. Then we have a video of a frog. So you can hear uh, the sound effect of frog in this video, which is absolutely perfect. So yeah, first of all, let's just go ahead and explore the sound effect feature in text to video generation, okay? So for that, over here, you need to describe your story. So first of all, uh, let's just say, render an animation of a roaring motorcycle racing down a city street at night. So it will be animation of a roaring motorcycle. And in that, obviously I'm expecting some kind of a motorcycle sound effect in that. So for that, I need to click on this sound effect. And it also provides you some of the more parameters of video options where you can select aspect ratio, frames per second, motion control, you can control camera strength of motion, and then you can also select parameter which will include negative prompt, uh, consistency with tax, and seed, okay, so yeah. Now let's just go ahead and generate this prompt and see what kind of sound effect now we can get for our motorcycle, okay? All right, so here is the video, uh, the animation of a roaring motorcycle, and right at the bat, this looks really, really good, like so. Currently, now it's on mute, and if I play the sound effect of this video, So yeah, wow, this, this seems absolutely perfect. Like we have an accurate sound effect of our motorcycle, roaring motorcycle actually. And then we also have the video. So yeah, this feature is absolutely crazy, right? Okay, next, let's take one more example. Let's just say I type in my story like a dog barking in the garden, okay? So this is a very simple prompt. Let's just see uh, what kind of sound effect now is gonna provide me for my this prompt, okay? All right, so here is the prompt, you guys. So, you know, I kind of tweaked the prompt which where I set up dog barking with a barking sound effect and the video looks good. And if you take a look at the sound effect of that. So yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. Now we have uh, the barking sound in the video for barking down. Like we just provided the prompt and take a look like how good uh, this AI tool has become, right? All right, so now let's just go ahead and explore the next new feature of Pika.art, which is an image to video generation. So yeah, first of all, let's just say if I select any image, let's just say I select an image of this cartoon character and I'll be uploading that and try to create a video as well as the new feature, which is lip syncing in Pika Art, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna upload this image. All right, done. And after that, you can see we clearly get a new option, which is lip sync, right? So if I can go ahead and click on this, and you can see it says use lip sync with front facing human videos in clear high quality audio, okay? So if I can go ahead and open this, so it said generate text to audio. So now you can generate text and create AI avatar, uh, you know, like audios, or you can upload your own as well. So I've recorded uh, my own recording that I can upload over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it down right over here, okay? Then uh, you can go ahead and select your audio, click attach and continue. And now you can select three seconds from uh, like any part from your audio. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first one. Click on generate. All right, so here we go. Here is the final result of the video. And if I can go ahead and play that. Out Pika.hi. Today I'm testing out Pika.hi. Today I'm testing out Pika. So take a look at this. This looks really, really good, right? So the lip syncing is to the point. Everything is top notch. So this is how you can go ahead and use the new lip sync feature in image to video generation, okay? So now let's just go ahead and test out another very cool features in video to video generation. So first of all, let's just say if you go ahead and upload any video, let's just say I take this video of a uh, woman singing the song. And after that, you can see we get three to four more options where you can modify regions, so yeah. Uh, you can basically go ahead and crop the part and just, you know, play around with that part of your video, which is really, really good. 
and then we have the option of expand canvas okay so yeah uh, let's just say your video is in one by one and if you and you want to change that uh to 16 by 9 in landscape okay so you can click on that click on generate so here we go guys so now it has basically changed uh your video it has expanded the canvas of that with the help of ai and now your video is in 16 by 9 in landscape mode right which is absolutely fantastic okay so the next feature it provides is obviously the lip sync one so you can go ahead and drag and drop file uh, over here so i'm going to go ahead and do uh, the exact same for this one now click on attach and continue click on generate all right so take a look at this output you guys pika feature ad i'm testing out the new pika feature ad i'm testing out the new pika Yes, this looks uh, really, really good. The lip syncing feature it works really fine for the images and video, which is really, really good. So yeah, the last feature which you can get is of sound effects. So yeah, you can basically describe the sound you want to add in your video to video generation, which is absolutely fantastic, right? So let's just say I type for my sound effect that a cool, satisfying, pleasing sound of night with moonlight. And if I can go ahead and click on generate, so it will generate a few of these sound effects for me, which I can choose and, you know, select that for my video. Okay. All right. So it has basically provided me two to three options. Okay. The second one is not like that good as well. Yeah, the third one, you know, uh, this looks a bit okay. So if I can, so I can go ahead and select this one, click on continue, attach to video. And yeah, uh, so it will start processing the output for us. Okay. So this is the final output, you guys. All right. So there we go, guys. This was the exploration of the new features in our Pika.r. So yeah, I hope you like this uh, quick video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.